Let's say you've got a really, really long-term goal in your life. You want to lose 100 pounds or you want to go to medical school. Maybe you want to write a book or start a business. Or at some point in your life, you really want to find that special person to settle down with. But you know some of these goals are going to take you maybe multiple years or even 5 to 10 years. So how do you actually use goal setting to plan out and begin tackling a humongous, massive goal that's like something that could change your life? In this video, I want to share what I think my most useful process is for achieving long-term goals. What's up guys? Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now I've included the first link below is a free goal setting worksheet on how to achieve massive goals in your life. It'll also help you plan out how to have your best year ever. And so if you check the first link in the description, click that and download it, you'll get that right away. Now look, there are a couple of goals of mine that have been incredibly long-term. Like I've been going to the gym four days a week for almost 15 years. I've written multiple books now. I've spent five years every day building a business. And now I'm wrapping up a four-year doctorate in traditional Chinese medicine. So there are a couple goals in my life that have been difficult long-term goals that don't just resolve themselves after six months. And this is the process that's helped me and my coaching clients. So the first thing is ridiculous specificity. I hear a lot of people when they come to me for coaching and they're like, you know, I just want to feel better. I want to stop feeling lost in life and get a good job. But those things don't mean anything when it comes to figuring out a specific process to reach the goal. What does feeling better even mean? Does it mean not being bloated when you eat meals? Does it mean getting at least seven and a half hours of sleep? Does it mean mentally feeling well because you're excited about your life? Does it mean having energy? Does it mean losing 20 pounds and liking who you see in the mirror? What does feeling well really mean? The more specific and tactical, the more you can take action on that. Because feeling well can mean a hundred different things. And let's say your other goal is you want to stop feeling lost in life and specifically in your career. Feeling lost in life is a humongous thing to tackle. But maybe you're like, you know what? I would rather have a job that pays me 50k around people that I love, that's meaningful work, within an hour of my parents or my family, and is something that gives a lot of vacation time, and I really, really love the work. So you just went from, oh, I have a confusing, meaningless, lost life in my career quadrant, to this is a five levels deep analysis of what you really want to build. And you can apply that to anything. I just want to be in love. Well, you want to be in love with an abuser or be in love with someone who actually loves you and wants to be around you? Both of those are possible. So for me, the second thing in achieving these massive goals is, of course, you break down the bigger and now more specific vision into your daily rituals. So we just talked about, for example, feeling well. We break feeling well now because you're more specific. You know how you can create specific habits around it. So you say, for example... I'm going to not have carbs one meal of the day. I'm going to spend more time around people and less time alone. And I'm going to go to the gym four days a week. So now feeling better, which is this generic thing that's difficult to fix, you know one part is diet, one part is not being socially isolated, and one part is fitness. And now you have a series of tactical habits to do every day. And going back to that job analogy of feeling lost or feeling kind of confused, Let's look at some rituals you could add here. You could say, I'm going to find possible careers I enjoy and make a list. I'm going to learn how to negotiate a raise. I'm going to find a great work culture company. And I'm going to look for jobs within 45 miles of my family. So the massive goal that takes a long time maybe now has specific tangible action steps. And the last thing is some kind of accountability for your daily rituals. You know, I shared here how one of the most impactful habits I've ever done has been having a mastermind group where literally every Thursday, 5.30 p.m. for the last five years, we get on the phone and we chat and we just say, what are your goals? What are you working on? What are the barriers to those goals? And going forward, what can you do to actually reach that goal? And then we help problem solve for each other. And if it's a shitty day, it's a shitty day and we give you a pep talk and then it's back out into the world. So figuring out some kind of method to stay the course when you don't want to. And so what that means is, and a method of accountability that doesn't involve you. 
Maybe you have a bet with friends and if you don't do your habits, you've got to pay $20 to somebody. Maybe it is the weekly phone call. Maybe it is just a journal. But whatever it is, I would strongly advise looking for accountability outside of yourself because that's the kind of stuff that really makes you do things. All right, guys. So I hope that helps. That's a very broken down, simplistic look at how to achieve a massive goal that takes place over a very long period of time. Keep it simple, and it's just about day in, day out doing the work and holding yourself accountable over years and years and years. So I hope that helps. Of course, the first link in the description is for a free goal setting worksheet that can help you do that in your own life. You'll also get a weekly email series on how to use goal setting to totally blow up your life. So check it out right there in the description. And then I've got a couple related videos on this right there and right there.